Making headlines this week is a suggestion that all children should undergo psychological screening from birth to the age of five to highlight problems that could reduce their chances of succeeding later in life. A report by think tank Demos uh, says it's crucial to track a child's development and that children who suffered emotional or educational disorders were far more likely to be unemployed as young adults. So do we think it would help society if children's behaviour was monitored earlier than it is? I think it would. I think because, you know, they, the one to seven, they're the formative years, aren't they? And, and so, sometimes, you know, people say, give me a kid between one and seven and I'll give you back the adult. So I, do, I think they're really crucial years. And, and I think if there's a way of identifying educational problems or, you know, learning difficulties, uh, it can stop someone, you know, having a potentially painful life because they haven't identified it. Mm -hmm. My um, a friend of mine, um, they're... they're their, um, their boy had, uh, was, sh was behaving like he couldn't control his, his body. His arms wouldn't, he couldn't keep his arms still. And they, they knew that he was eight years old and he, sh he used to get super excited about stuff. And, and they, you know, mother's instinct, they just felt that there was something wrong. And they identified that he was dyspraxic, which then meant that they could fi find the right school for him. Mm -hmm. And so he could get looked after and, you know, wouldn't get you know, have a hard time. So. I, yeah, I, I agree with elements of it, I have to say. However, I do think that we must be very careful not to label children uh, too early and too much, really, because um, I think we also give them the label of, oh, I'm a problem child. You know, for instance, if it, Jake was very, very off the wall as a two, three-year-old. He was very hyper and um, just a bit mad, really, but that was because the lifestyle we were leading. He didn't have a routine. And people used to say to me, well, not, probably two people actually said to me, do you think he's a bit, you know, has he got ADHD? Now, we know ADHD is a serious thing. And I thought, if I'd listened to them, I probably would have got myself into a terrible state, gone through what, what would have had to have gone through. But to be honest, he's now eight. He's a normal hyperactive um, boy. boy and so I think you can't get better than listening to your own maternal instincts mm. so I think it's uh, as long as there's a balance and we don't get overboard thinking oh well that behavior oh maybe he, I need to take him you know maybe that means something I don't know sometimes what you mean, it's Zoe, a bit over the top but at the, at the same time you know I've got, I've got members of my family who are dyslexic for example now mm. way way back in the day didn't know what dyslexia was. You, you were just a bit slow at school and maybe you weren't very good with your reading and writing and spelling and what have you. Nowadays, uh, that sort of thing can be pinpointed at such an early age and mm. support can be given. Uh, do, do you not think that maybe part of the problem is that some mums maybe have that mother's intuition that something isn't quite right, but they don't want their child labelled, so they actually don't want to look the problem in the face? I think sometimes people are scared to look into things like that. I mean, but... I mean, my daughter, she had the kicking and screaming things in shops and, you know, but a lot of kids That's do that, normal, don't they? I, I, That's know, but normal, Sherry. That's normal. Absolutely. It isn't always but, normal. But it what I'm always. saying is, is that if you start looking into every kid that kicks and screams and has a tantrum, I think that would be going too far. Having said that, she then developed, and, and Keely and I have talked about this, quite dark moods. And that was quite young, quite, you know, six years old. And, and I couldn't understand it, and I'd talk her round, and eventually she would cry and come out of it. Now, I felt really useless as a mother, absolutely useless, because I didn't know what to do. I felt I wasn't helping. Maybe if I'd had someone to say, why is this? You, can you help me to say, to, you know, maybe talk to her? Instead of a mother, could you talk to her and find out why this happens? Maybe it's a chemical thing. Mm. If, you know, it could have been anything That's like right, because that. we're, not, we're not just talking about, you know, children's behaviour in terms of education. It's also emotional development and, and that yeah. sort of thing. There's been some terrible cases recently in the newspaper, obviously. They're calling them tear-away kids and this sort of thing. Do you think that if, if children were to undergo psychological screening from birth to the age of five, that maybe some of these cases, children, they'd, they'd be looked at. They'd really see the way that was, they were going. And it could, could be definitely be prevented, I think. If you can, I mean, I mean, it's proven that children between, between the ages of one and seven have really complex thoughts. I mean, you know, for example, I, I know of, of somebody who's, whose child um, had a, a problem going to the loo at a very young age and therefore decided was never going to do that That's again. quite common. At a very, very young mm. age. So they work things out from when they're tiny. Mm. So, I mean, go, going back to so-called so tear-away kids, I think there is something in there that, that they could probably detect at a very young age that could prevent and, and protect them and other people. Mm. And that, they're, they're not born, they're not, children, babies aren't born bad. 
I mean, that, no. but, but they're, where they live and, and how Obviously, they're brought up, yeah. that can make them. Uh, also it's, not always, them it's not always there's something wrong with them, no. is it? No, but also telling them that they're a problem child or you've got problems, that's going to make their life problematic yeah. and make them feel different to everybody else. I and think, I don't think that's fair no, There either. are varying degrees of things, aren't there? And I think if you can identify if a child has a real, genuine problem, yes. I think then it's worth doing. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well,